Good morning, class. We're going to be going over today's lesson on ULS, and this is over division. And if you have watched my uh, lessons, uh, division part one and division part two, um, this is exactly like what we've been doing. Um, so anyway, uh, there are a lot of uh, questions here. Uh, we're only going to go through the first two together, but there are plenty of uh, problems for you to practice. So let's just go ahead and get started. We're going to do these first two. Okay, so here's the story problem. Danielle is putting an equal number of coin wrappers into boxes. There are 12 coin wrappers all together. Here's the coin wrapper. There are two boxes. Here are the boxes. How many coin wrappers does Danielle put into each box? Okay, so the number of coin wrappers, 12, will go right here underneath this little tent. That's, that's the division symbol, or that's one of them. So um, this part right here underneath the tent, it's called the dividend. Number of boxes is going to go right here outside of the tent. And this part right here, that's called your divisor. And they've done it for us in ULS. So here's your dividend. Your dividend is 12. Your divisor is 2. And then this is your quotient, or this is the answer we'll be looking for. Okay, so. 12 divided by 2 equals what? If you remember from lesson 1 and 2, uh, we are going to use our multiplication table in order to figure this out. You can ask yourself, 2 times what equals 12? So let's go ahead and pull up our multiplication table. Starting with our divisor, which is 2. We'll go down until we find the dividend of 12. And there it is, 12. Okay, to find our answer or our quotient, we'll go straight across. So it looks like our answer that we'll be plugging in on ULS is six, because six times two equals 12. All right. So let's go back to our ULS program and plug in six. Okay. So you can check it. Two times six. Does it equal 12? You can check back with your multiplication chart as many times as you need to but it does, two times six does equal 12. So how many coin wrappers does Danielle put into each box? The answer is six. Oop, that's a little, ah, sorry, I'm using my keypad so it doesn't always do what I want it to. There we go. Our answer is six. Okay. So let's go to the next page, which is the same problem. 12 divided by two equals six. It's just written in another form. This is also a division symbol. This is the exact same word problem. Danielle is putting an equal number of coin wrappers into boxes. There are 12 coin wrappers all together. There are two boxes. How many coin wrappers does Danielle put into each box? 12 divided by 2 equals, same answer from our first activity, 6, number of coin wrappers in each box. So there's 6 in this box, 6 in this box, 6 in this box. Okay, again, this is the same exact word problem, except we're going to do a little legwork here. We're going to put an equal number of coin wrappers into each of these boxes. 
but the X is going to symbolize a coin wrapper. But since I'm using the keypad, I'm just going to put dots. Okay, so there are 12 coin wrappers all together. We know that. There are two boxes. So here's our boxes. One, two boxes. So we're going to fill these two boxes with the coin wrappers. Okay. So let's just start by adding an equal amount of coin wrappers or dots until we get to the number that uh, is right here. There are 12 coin wrappers all together, so we're going to stop at 12. So we're going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so twelve coin wrappers all together. Okay, there's one, two boxes. Two. Let's put up our tent. Okay, so we're just going to count one of these boxes. Now, if this equals up to six, and this box equals up to six, we've done it correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six. That one checks out. One, two, three, four, five, six. That one checks out. So again, we get six. See, we're just dividing the coin wrappers evenly into each box. Okay. So we're going to go on to another word problem. This is a different one. Brent is placing an equal number of lollipops into a jars. There are 32 lollipops all together. There are four jars. How many lollipops does Brent place in each jar? Okay, so he's trying to divide up the lollipops evenly. Maybe he's giving uh, a jars full of lollipops to his friends for Valentine's Day. So he has a bag of 32 lollipops. That's how many lollipops he has. So he has four jars, but we wanna make sure that everyone gets the same amount of lollipops in each jar. Okay, so the number of lollipops all together is 32. That's going to be our dividend. And it's going to go right there under the tent. Number of jars, that's going to be our divisor. That number is going to go right there outside of the tent. So we're splitting up 32 lollipops into four jars. So it's 32 divided by four equals what? Let's see, you can ask yourself, four times what equals 32? Because you remember from uh, the previous lessons, uh, multiplication uh, closely uh, relates to division. So that's why we started learning multiplication before we went into division, because you're going to need to learn how to multiply before you learn how to divide. Okay, so this is our divisor. So this is our starting place, four. We're going to go down the chart until we get to our dividend, which is 32. So let's go ahead and pull up our chart. Okay, we're going to start here with the divisor, which is four, and go straight down until we hit our dividend of 32. Here it is. And to get our quotient or our answer, we're going to go straight across. There it is. Our answer is going to be eight. This is the number that we're going to plug in on top of the tent because eight times four equals 32. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to our ULS page. So the number that we're going to plug in here is 8. 32 divided by 4 is 8. 
How many lollipops does Brent place in each jar? Eight. Okay, so let's do the second half of this same exact word problem. He still has 32 lollipops dividing by four jars. Okay. So 32 divided by four equals eight. Now there are only three jars here. Um, so we need actually a fourth jar. Let me create a fourth jar here. To, it's gonna be eight lily, lollipops here, eight lollipops here, eight lollipops here, and eight lollipops here. So everybody has an equal amount of lollipops. Brent had to divide to find the answer. Okay. This may take you a hot minute, but um, we are going to be putting the lollipops into the jars. The circles represent the jars. If you remember, there's four jars, so one, two, three, four jars. Instead of an X, we'll just be putting a little dot or a line. Okay, so what number are we counting to? 32 because there's 32 lollipops. So let's start putting the lollipops into the jars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32 lollipops. Okay, so let's just make sure that each of these equals eight because that's what we got for our answer. Remember 32 divided by four equals eight? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Checks out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That checks out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Checks out. All right, so hopefully this jar equals eight as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, there are eight lollipops in each of these four jars. So we're ready to answer. Eight. Okay, well this concludes this lesson on division. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to me over email. You can find me on Google Classrooms. Oops, let's go ahead and clear our annotations. On Google Classrooms on our classroom Facebook page or on YouTube. Processing a video right now. So anyway, I will see you guys at noon today and we will be playing a Kahoot game. See you then.